What's up, football fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two latest book releases, Football, a Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? Visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copies today. <laughs> Starting with the Texans in this ball game, they have to understand the game starts at 1 p.m. Eastern time. What I mean by that is they can't afford a slow start versus a team like Atlanta that can put up points in a hurry. They have to get off to a fast start and put a lot of pressure on that Falcons defense to maintain their level of consistency throughout the course of the ball game. And the Texans have to continue the offensive balance. I like what I saw last week versus Tampa Bay. Alfred Blue ran for over 100 yards, 31 carries. You also look at Ryan Mallon was efficient throwing the football outside of the one interception. But that type of balance, I think it helped them out a lot versus Atlanta. And defensively, the pressure has to pay off. They didn't get to Jameis Winston last week versus Tampa Bay. And if that happens versus Matt Ryan and his Falcons passing game, he'll make them pay even more so than what happened last week versus the Bucks. So again, the pressure has to pay off. The Texans have a ton of talent at the first and second level. Guys that can apply pressure. I think they have to do a better job this week versus Atlanta of getting home. Looking at the Falcons in this ball game, I don't think they can afford any early three and outs offensively. I think this offense has to hit the ground running. You don't want to give a defense like the Texans confidence early in the ball game. Otherwise, you're going to face a ton of pressure. And Matt Ryan's mobility, I think, will be key in this ball game. What I saw last week versus Dallas is Matt Ryan being active in the pocket, getting out of trouble, doing a lot of damage on the move, throwing on a run. If he's able to maintain that level of mobility versus Houston, it goes a long way in helping him have offensive success. Now, defensively, I would stay active at the line of scrimmage. Ryan Mallard is a quarterback with a strong arm, but he tends to flatline a lot of passes. You can get your hands on a lot of passes, which could result into tip balls that could ultimately result into turnovers. My X factor for the Texans is really that Ryan Mallard to DeAndre Hopkins connection. That has to get going because both of these teams gain a lot of yards, the Texans aren't scoring a lot of points, but the Falcons are. This has the potential to be a shootout, so they'll need to get that, that connection going and find some ways to create some big plays, take advantage of the, the uh, Falcons' pass defense. As far as the Falcons are concerned, that being said, my X factor for the Falcons is Desmond Trufant. They need to get him matched up against DeAndre Hopkins, have him mirror him, have him travel with him across the different you know, whether they have him at slot or outside, left, right, whichever. Trufant needs to stay with DeAndre Hopkins. They need to uh, minimize the 282 yards per game that they're allowing. I still think the Falcons are going to win this game at home. I have them going 45 to 27. Houston coming off a win versus Tampa Bay. My coaching points for them. They have to find a way to keep Julio Jones out of the equation. Julio Jones, to me, has been the best wide receiver in the NFL over the first three games. He, he seems like a man possessed. We have to find a way to double coverage, um, roll the coverage to him, make sure that Matt Ryan can't look at him as, their, as, their, as his first option. If I'm Atlanta, I've got to continue to press, press this running game. Um, Devontae Freeman did a great job running the ball last week versus Dallas. I look for him to have more success and to continue to try to pound that ball. If they can be balanced, they're a very hard um, offensive team to stop because Julio can't be stopped. And if you can give him a solid running game behind him, it's going to be great for him. I like the Falcons to win this one. I like it 28-14. As far as a start for the Atlanta Falcons, the home team, Julio Jones, with a confidence rating of a 10. He's going to get the most targets in the league this year, most big plays from the wide receiver position, and he's doing his job. As far as a sit, going against the green, Devonta Freeman, sit him down. Reason being, the Texans defense has done a decent job against running backs this year. It's been the pass defense that has suffered, and that was more of an anomaly last year, uh, last week, I should say, than the trend in the future, knowing that the Falcons don't really run the ball consistently. As far as a start for the Texans, DeAndre Hopkins. The guy has just shown up every week for this offense, and he should continue to do so. As far as a set, Texans defense, because they're playing against a team that is really throwing the ball, getting it over the top, and putting up points. 
a sneaky start is whoever is the Texans running back, especially if it's Arian Foster, we know that he will get the requisite touches if he's in there. And Alfred Blue actually is finally getting in a groove this year after last week's performance. Final score in this one, pretty high scoring game. I have the Falcons winning 31 to 21. I like the Texans in this ball game. I think what you'll see versus Atlanta is a team offensively that's finally starting to get their C legs up under them and be a little bit more consistent. And they do have a defense, I think, especially from a pressure standpoint, to cause Atlanta problems. So I see Houston knocking off the Falcons in the Georgia Dome. So let's recap our picks. The entire squad is going with the Atlanta Falcons. I'm the lone wolf this week going for the Houston Texans. I think this will be a great and close defensive football game. And we also want to give a huge shout out to the Texans fan forums and the Falcon fan forums for always showing football game plan support.